Hello everyone. Let me introduce you to the new update of Atlas TI Mac released on April the 6th, 2016. This new update brings a new output, a new output in this case in Word format. So this is added to the existing outputs in Excel. So now I, I will I will first show you that if you go to Atlas TI check for updates, uh, it must say 1.0.44. This is the very latest update released today, April the 6th, 2016. So this new output uh, can be created in relation to all of the objects of, of a project. So you can do this with documents. The first icon on top right, that is the icon for outputs, as table, uh, which is an Excel spreadsheet, or as a report, which is a Word output. You can also do that with document groups. You can do that with quotations, with codes, with memos, table and report. You can do that with networks, with code groups, table report, with memo groups, table report with quotation links show link manager table and report with quotation relations show relation manager with code links show link manager table and report and with relations uh, with code to code relations so show relation manager for codes the same okay now I will proceed to show you how this works I'm going to open the quotation manager I will select a set of quotations output as report, export as report. So here we are. What do we have here is on the left side we see what the report will show. On the right side is where we will select what we want the report to show. So let's say that uh, I want to know the document from which the quotation comes. I select in document and now it tells me that this quotation 1-1 comes from document 1 BRCH agent PDF. The codes that are linked to that quotation. If there are any hyperlinks and it tells me that quotation number 1-4 is hyperlinked to quotation number 1-1 through the explain relation. Linked memos. If you have linked a memo to the quotation, the name of the memo will show there. If you want to see the actual content of what you are writing in that memo, click on the triangle next to linked memos, content. And here is the content of the memo, what you are writing. If you want to see the actual content of the quotation, which makes a lot of sense, you will click on content and you will see here uh, the quotation number 1-1. This is the title of it. Uh, and the content of the quotation is this. And here you have below the content of the memo that you wrote in association 
uh, to that particular uh, quotation. And then if you click comments, you will see uh, the comments that you wrote or the comment that you wrote in association to that particular quotation number one one. So you have you can you can have a lot of information in this report. Uh, furthermore, if you click on the triangles next to these objects, uh, you will be able to select other uh, boxes that will allow you to include more and more information. So you will have to play around with this um, and only select what you really want for in your report. You can also select creating and modifying user. Uh, so this is uh, the person who created it, the date, and the person who modified that quotation and the date. Uh, you can also uh, uh, determine um, the order in which you want the different elements to be listed uh, in, uh, in, the, in the report or how you want them to be grouped uh, by codes, uh, you see here, codes, by code groups, CHAs, and so on. So I would like to, give, to tell you to, to, to practice with this, to play around with this. And now uh, what I will do is I will click on Save, and now the report is in Word. So now you take a look at it, you read it, you print it, you work with it. So this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, our new uh, reporting function, uh, very useful, and it complements uh, the also very useful uh, uh, reporting in, in Excel, which I like very much. But this one will give us additional uh, information. And one of the, one of the elements that this uh, reporting in Word uh, brings which uh, the Excel report did not have is, 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 is that now we can see the quotations to which a quotation is, is hyperlinked. You see, um, this is a very, very, very important piece of information. Uh, now we have it in this report. Thank you very much, and I will see you uh, the next time we have uh, an important update. Goodbye.